high brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today when I booted up my Windows 11 device, I noticed when it started up that I had a little orange warning on my system tray Windows security app uh, in the taskbar. And when I investigated, um, I noticed that my LSA protection, which stands for Local Security Authority Protection, had been turned off. Now, that was strange because LSA protection is actually turned on by default um, in Windows 11. And obviously, because of this, I did a bit of investigation like I would normally do. And I discovered that there is user feedback now that's rolling in, where it seems that after the Patch Tuesday updates rolled out earlier this week for Windows 11, and the Patch Tuesday cumulative updates rolled out on the 14th of March 2023, as I did post on, and it seems now that Microsoft could be disabling and turning off the feature and then giving you the option to turn it on, where previously it was the other way around, where it was turned on by default, and then you would have the option to turn it off. And uh, um, I thought this would be a good time if you had seen the same morning or just in case you're interested to show you how you can enable LSA protection on Windows 11. And just to give you a quick overview as to what the feature is all about in case you were interested or you were unaware. So LSA, also known as the Local Security Authority Protection, is basically a component of the Windows Security app and Windows Security that is bundled by default in Windows 11. And what it does is it verifies your identity during the sign-in process of your computer and um, it does other things like checks password changes and login attempts and carries out other authentication and authorization tasks in windows and it's especially useful to safeguard your system and accounts against cyber threats so basically in a nutshell local security authority protection lsa protection basically provides an extra layer of security for your windows 11 operating system so that's just what lsa protection is all about in a nutshell now if you would like to enable the feature um you just head to your windows security app and if you don't know where that is just do a search and we open the windows security app and we just navigate to device security and it's part of the core isolation features so we click on core isolation details and yeah you'll see local security authority protection lsa helps protect user credentials by preventing unsigned drivers and plugins from loading into the local security authority. And if this is turned off, you can just toggle it on and then you'll have to restart your device to apply those changes. And then once you've restarted, it will remain on and then obviously giving you an extra layer of protection. And then you obviously have the choice to turn it off. And um, my suggestion though, um, I would only turn this off in Windows 11 if you are seeing any performance decreases or higher usage of system resources else and um, i would leave it turned on because it is as mentioned providing you with an extra layer of security so i just wanted to bring that uh, to your attention and as mentioned noticed that earlier today and that's just showing you how you can enable lsa protection on windows 11 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one